All right, so let's find the solution to a system of linear inequalities um, by by graphing the inequalities and seeing where they overlap. Uh, it's much like solving a system of uh, linear equations by graphing and seeing where the lines intersect. Uh, for inequalities, we're going to have um, uh, big shaded regions that are that are called half planes, and the place where those shaded regions um, um, intersect or overlap is the solution to the whole system. If if there is one, um, I'll try to remember to show you a situation where there wouldn't be one um, after I do this. But so the process is basically uh, so we've got two inequalities here. Uh, we're going to say that's a system, meaning that x and y mean the same thing for for both these. It's a system, and um, we are going to first pretend that we're just graphing them as lines and that'll be the the boundaries of the um, of the half planes um, so so imagine I mean ignore the fact that this is a less than or equal to sign ignore the fact that this is a greater than sign just pretend that these are equal and think back on so, um, graphing linear equations uh, this um, is in the slope uh, the point slope form the y or you know, you see that y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, that, that business. Um, so I know that the slope of this line is 3, and that the point um, 5, 2 is on the line. You know, I'm pretending this is a line for now. Uh, this is in standard form. Um, that's going to be a little tougher for me to graph. So I'm going to. I'm going to change that to just classic slope intercept form, um, which is a little bit easier for me to graph, but we can see where what goes where. Um, so yes, whatever form you need, whatever you're most comfortable with. I like point slope. I like slope intercept. Standard's cool, but um, it's not as easy to graph with. So I'm I'm just going to rearrange this a little bit. Subtract both sides by three x. So I've got four y equals, or is 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 greater than negative uh, three x plus twelve, and then I'm going to divide both sides by four. So I've got y is greater than negative three fourths x um, plus three. So and I've just rearranged this into slope intercept form to make it easier. For, for me to graph. So let's start with the first inequality. Um, uh, let me figure out where the boundary would go. So uh, I know that the point 5, 2 is on, on that line. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x is 5, y is 2. So that's a point. Um, I also know that the slope is 3, which is based on the structure of the equations, point slope form. So I know that this number means the slope. So the slope would be 3 over 1. Uh, this is how I would like to write that, because the slope is the change in y. So that's a, I meant to, here, cha over change in x. That's a delta sign. That just means change. Or you can think of it as rise over run. Um, I don't really like those words. They don't really mean anything to me, but if they mean something to you, that's cool. So the change in y over change in x, so that means if I go up 3, then I go over 1. So I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1 from the point that I started with. Now I can connect these two points to um, draw my boundary line, something like that. Uh, let's see here, I'm just going to line it up slightly better. Um, okay, so the question is, is my boundary line going to be solid or dotted? Um, it's very similar to when you're graphing inequalities on a number line. You know, if you have, like, x is less than 2. Well, the number 2 itself wouldn't count for that. It's, 2 is not less than 2. But anything that's uh, less than 2 would count. So you would draw an open circle to show that not including the number two, but everything up to the number, the number two, like that. Or if it's less than or equal to the number two, 
uh, you'd fill in that circle to show that yeah the number two is included. So um, very similar thing with graphing inequalities, it, but instead of open circles or closed circles, it's a solid line or dotted line. So if it's less than or equal or equal to or greater than or equal to something with equal to, it's a solid line. If it's just greater than or less than. Uh, it'd be a dotted line to show that the line is not included. So this is less than or equal to. So um, solid line's okay. Now the last step for graphing this one is uh, shading one side of the line. Um, this is a less than or equal to sign. So I can shade underneath the line. It's less than or equal to. So here's yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to draw my little, my little thing here. Oops. Oops. Let's see if I can fill that in. Does that fill in? Yeah, it's okay. All right. So, I don't know. You get the, the rough idea for that one. So I've shaded underneath that. So this, everywhere is where it's shaded, that's that's a, a solution to this inequality. You know, this point, this point, this point, this point. Anything that's so it's anything that's less than or equal to this boundary line uh, would count for that inequality. So I'm going to draw the um, I'm going to graph the next one, and uh, we want to see where they intersect because that represents the solution set to the the whole system of linear equal uh, inequalities. So here's our um, our our modified form here. So y is greater than negative three fourths x plus three. So I know three is my y intercept. So one two three is there. That's a point on on that boundary line. Um, now the slope is negative three over four. So my my change in y is negative three or down three. Uh, versus a, a positive change of 4 for x. So um, down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's another point on the line. Now I'm going to draw my boundary. Um, now if you're doing this with a pencil on a piece of paper, you could draw the boundary um, solid and if it needs to be dotted just kind of erase it a little bit or you can look ahead um, and get your ruler in the right place to draw it and then look to see if it, if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to draw a solid line or if it's greater than or less than then you know as you draw your line for the first time just make it dotted so whatever works for you so here's my boundary um, is it going to be solid or is it going to be dotted well this is greater than or less than um, so it needs to be needs to be dotted to show that my inequality is not actually going to include that line. It's going to be everything, um, you know, up to that line from a certain direction. So it's going to be dotted, make it a little thicker and make it easier to see. Okay, now uh, last question is, what side of the boundary do I shade in? Um, so this is uh, greater than. So I'm going to shade above the line. this nice shocking orange color but let's make it so we can see through it cut off the borders here yeah that's basically basically it so um, where is my solution to the system of inequalities what's where the where the shaded regions overlap that's where the um, where the the values are true for both of the inequalities so um, so you can see where it's overlapping um, you know, make it darker, or uh, just make it darker, or you can kind of, uh, one thing you can do is, instead of shading it right away, you can kind of draw, like, little arrows to say, I, I know I, I would I would shade this, you know, uh, above the line, I know I would sh shade it, this one, this way, and then when you get to where they intersect, you know, 
then you'd actually fill in that region. You can do that or just or just make it darker. I'm gonna make this one darker. Just to make it more obvious where the solution set is. Just make it stand out. Um yeah, so the, this uh oops. So yeah, this region here would be the solution set of this um linear uh, this system of linear inequalities. Now you could you could I uh, yeah, I said I was going to show you a situation. I mean, they might not necessarily intersect. There might not be a solution um or any solution at all. What if you had um I'm just going to draw this over on the side. What if you had uh, two parallel lines, and um, and uh, this one is a greater than, so you're shading above, and this one is a less than, so you're shading below. Well, these shaded regions would never cross, um, so so there'd be no solution. Um, set. Alright, have fun with that.